The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Ingenia Herbicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Hamlin with Real Agriculture and I am joined here by Katima Daba who is a soybean researcher here at the University of Saskatchewan. Um, can you dive into a little bit about why we are breeding soybeans to be grown in Saskatchewan? Well yeah to start with soybean is one of the major uh, food and feed crop in the world uh, and it's uh, used for animal feed and human feed too. It covers uh, two-thirds of the world protein uh, source and uh, one-third of uh, world oil so we are trying to improve soybean uh, expand soybean sus- production in Saskatchewan because uh, of the uh, importance of this crop in the in the monoculture in the cereal growing culture to help the rotation yeah for sure so what are some of the benefits of rotating these pulse crops into our crop rotations here Yes, soybean is one uh, one of the legumes that fixes atmospheric nitrogen. Uh, so that benefits the farmer uh, through symbiotic nitrogen fixation. So farmers don't need to add nitrogen fertilizer to their farm. And then by, by reducing that nitrogen fertilizer application, the uh, carbon uh, footprint in the farming system will be reduced. So that's a beneficial for the farming community. So what are some of the objectives of breeding here for Saskatchewan soybeans? Yeah, in Saskatchewan, we focus mainly yield. Uh, Farmers should uh, make good, they should be able to grow soybean and then make a good harvest uh, with a short period of growing season. So earliness is also another criteria. Uh, By improving yield, earliness, and we also try to improve protein content of the crop we grow so that farmers will uh, make good money from, from the crop through improving protein in the yield. So given that we're trying to reach that protein objective, what are um, some of the challenges we're overcoming there? Yeah, a good question. So as we increase yield, uh, the, the tendency is that protein and yield has negative correlation. So when we increase yield, when we improve yield, protein uh, content is reduced. Uh, traditionally, as soybean moves from east to west, from Ontario, Quebec, Manitoba to Saskatchewan, there is a report that uh, protein content of soybeans grown in Saskatchewan get lower because of the short growing season, because we are located in the northwestern part of soybean growing uh, region in North America. So uh, if we grow a soybean that can uh, mature within 110, 112 days, with a good yield and then uh, acceptable protein level, that would be uh, profitable for the farmers. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today about your research, and I'm excited to see where it goes. Thank you very much. Uh, Looking forward to see you next time when the crop is expanding more. 